Hi friends, welcome to Electrical and Instrument Engineering channel. In this video, I am going to show you the installation of Siemens Starter Commissioning software. Before we move on to the installation of the software, let me give a small overview regarding the software. The software can be used for commissioning purpose, for optimization of motors and drives, for troubleshooting of motors and drives as well. The question arises when we can commission the drive with the help of basic operating panel that is BOP and advanced operating panel that is AOP then why we need the software? Well, answer to that question is when we have more than 30-40 motors in a plant then the commissioning with the help of BOP and EOP becomes very tedious because we need to navigate through individual dialogues in case of BOP and AOP. But in software, we are not supposed to do that. Also, in software, as you can see here, we can see the parameter numbers along with the parameter text with the values. We can see the values online, we can also have the values offline. So that is the beauty of the software. Also, we can access multiple drives sitting at one place. So that is not possible with the help of BOP and AOP. We have to move around each and every drive to commission it to feed the parameters in case of BOP and AOP. But with the help of software, when we can access multiple drives sitting at one place, we can feed the parameters selecting individual drive unit. That is the main advantage of the software. And because of this reason, it is important for the plant engineers as well as uh, commissioning engineers to know about the software. So let us understand and go through the installation of the software. Friends, this is the software setup file. So you can see setup.dxe that is the file of the application. So double click on that. You can double click on this setup.dxe. After clicking twice on setup.dxe file, Sometimes it may happen that uh, the software will ask you to restart your system. So there is no harm in restarting our PC. We can restart it. And uh, after restarting, again double click on the setup.exe. When we double click on setup.exe, this window of the software would appear in front of us. Currently, the software is giving us chance to set up an installation language. So, you can see, you can change the installation language. Okay. So, I am keeping English as an installation language. After selection of the installation language, setup language, Click on next. So this is the generalized information. The setup is uh, providing us. The setup program is providing us. We are going to install version 4.5.1.0. And it is saying that all the other Windows programs should be shut off. So that there wouldn't be any problem with the functionality of the software. So it is recommended that we should uh, not do any work with the installation of this particular software. So that is what the software is telling us to do that. So it's just a generalized information. So click on the next after reading that. 
This is the license to software. So we need to agree with the terms and condition of the license agreement. And there are some security informations are also being provided. I would suggest you to uh, read the security information once and we need to check this box. So I'm checking that box and click on next. Now already we have selected English as a installation language. So we don't require any other language. I don't require that. If you require, you can keep this. Otherwise, uncheck the box like this. Okay. So the software will only get installed in English language. If you select all other languages, then it can you can translate that, or you can uh, convert that into other language also. So <clears throat> I don't want that. So click on next. If you need, remember that if you need, then you have to select all the boxes if you need it. If you don't, then unselect it. So click on next after doing that. So now click on the next. So after clicking on the next, we can see the options been available. So semantic CFC is unchecked, so I will check it. I want that. And this also SSP, Synamics, G120, PBT, all the versions. So I'm clicking, selecting all this. Okay. So step 7, V5.5 would get included in SP for inclusive hot fix. HF9 means hot fix 9. Automations license manager would get included in this and starter of course which we need that semantic cfc micromaster support ssp means software support package that would be included in this so after selecting all these things click on next so now the installation has been started so we need to sit back and wait for the installation to get complete you can see you can have an overview all those things okay so <clears throat> sit back and wait for the installation to get completed now friends you can see the setup has been completed the installation is successfully completed so the software is asking us to restart so now we would restart it so that the software can function properly okay so friends you can see the setup has been completed successfully so i have opened the project uh, which i have made during uh, commissioning in a certain plant so you can see this is the name of the project this one is the name of the project and there is a one drive unit this is the drive unit name of the drive unit and um, these are the parameters of that particular drive unit so you can see the parameter numbers the text of those parameters I'm just expanding that and the offline values which has been saved okay so this is what the software all about and um, i am very much thankful to all of you for giving me such a support and also watching this video thank you very much subscribe on electrical and instrument engineering channel for more upcoming videos thanks a lot